Hello Guardians, and welcome to the Court of Oryx stream recap. I am Reepathy, and I will do the best I can to highlight all the main points that went down in this stream. Today, our hosts were Urk, along with Ben Womack, who designed the Court of Oryx, and last but not least, Laced Up Lauren. First off, the Court of Oryx is a player-instigated public event that allows a total of 9 people, 3 in your fire team, and 6 people in the area, to take down unique bosses. There are 3 tiers of bosses, the higher the tier, the more difficult the encounter will become. Tier 1 is level 36 difficulty, tier 2 is nightfall difficulty, and tier 3, the difficulty can be comparable to a raid boss. The boss or bosses depend on what rune a player presents. Only one rune is needed by one player to start the event for your fire team. The person who presents the rune gets a better reward when the encounter is completed. The first screenshot shows an exotic solar sword, and yes, I said exotic called the Ray's Lighter. A tweet by Bungie says that swords will not drop from the Taken King, you have to forge them yourself. Meaning, everyone will have an equal chance to get the swords through missions. The fire team takes its first steps in the Dreadnought, and Womack explains that the Dreadnought is a loot-filled fortress and you can't discover everything in your first walkthrough. There are many reasons to come back. The fire team takes out a Hive Major and receives their first rune, a little after, they find a new destination material called Worm Spore with the help from Laced Up Lauren's Ghost Shell. The Ghost Shell marked a little waypoint that shows her exactly where to go and where to get the Worm Spore. They then fight their way through the Hall of Souls, which are full of enemies and different events can happen each time you go in. For this instance, there was a high ritual going on to summon Taken enemies to help them fight the Guardians. They finally reach the Court of Oryx. This is the area to present your rune and start the boss encounters. If you don't have a rune, you can still join in the public event as long as one person in your fire team or one person in the area presents the rune. Each Court of Oryx boss has its own mechanic to take them out. The first boss you see is Vorlog, and he spawns with a random shield, and every time his shield is broken, you have a few seconds to do damage until he pops up with a different colored shield. First is Arc Shield. He's gonna come up with a different color once it regens. So we have to be prepared for that. We have to do as much damage as we can when the shield is down, because it's going to come up, and then my arc shotgun won't do as much damage. So something like that. Just hit him a bunch. Yeah, just hit him a bunch. You know? that's, uh, that's, that's how I like to do it. Yep. OK, Lauren, I'm going to tell you to do anything. As you can see, he is quickly taken out by the Ray's Lighter Exotic Sword. They also explain in the lower level runes, meaning tier 1, you can't fight the same bosses two times in a row. The next encounter features three wizard bosses, and the way that this mechanic works is if one of the wizards is taken out too early, he gets revived by the other two. They have three minutes to whittle down the wizard's health and execute them at the same time. It's all Beautiful. Job. Coordination, that was all me. <laughs> <laughs> they show off the stolen rune item, and it shows that two out of three instances are completed, meaning they have to complete one more tier one encounter before they can enter tier two. The next encounter features two Knight Brothers, one Taken and one Hive. The mechanic is to lure the two brothers together to weaken their shields. There we Invisible. go. There you go. Oh. oh. Go back there. Right, go back. I'm going to okay. clean up some of the ads here if I can. Okay, this guy's... Oh, nope. Got to choose your right moment. We now see the first Tier 2 encounter which is comparable to the Nightfall difficulty. Tier 2 is a combination of two Tier 1 encounters at the same time. This encounter features the same Knight Brothers as seen before who are bumped up in power and an Ogre whose shields are only breakable by Curse Thrall Explosion. And he was so close, so close! I got him with the hammer. Okay, um, open up. Oh my god. And okay, they're, they're far apart. Far, 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 far. Let's go. That's how you do it. Yes. The next tier 2 battle features a Taken Centurion whose shields will only go down when all of his minions are dead, and the only catch here is they do respawn. The other boss that's shown is from the very first encounter. Punch him. Punch him. Shoot him. Yes. Within seconds. Let's go. Awesome job. My watch. Unfortunately, we don't see the tier 3 encounter because they want us to be surprised when the game comes out and they don't want us to know how to take out the tier 3 bosses right from the start of the game. The stream ends by showing off the new limited edition Destiny PS4s that are given to the previous streamers to give away for their followers. 
There are two big surprises at the end of the stream, one being the new story mode trailer and one being the new King's Fall Raid trailer. I will play the story mode trailer right now. We fought to keep our beautiful creation safe. And now this beast has come. Claiming to be king. Marasav bows to no one. Guardian got a good look on Phobos. Whatever it was, it turned Cabal against Cabal. They are taken. Oryx has arrived. I will take them all. Whatever you kill, Oryx will replace. This trailer looks so amazing, and I have no words to tell you how excited I am for the new story mode. And there's one last surprise which talks about the raid. It will be released Friday, September 18th. That is three days after the release of the DLC. Here is the trailer for the King's Fall Raid. Facing Oryx was never the end. Deep within the Dreadnought, his horde draws breath. You cannot face this alone. Six of you must rise. And stand together as the king falls. That looks freaking amazing. There's so much hype here, Guardians, and I cannot wait to play. This will be the biggest and most difficult raid in Destiny. One last thing before we go, September 8th will be the release of Patch 2.0, which will include a whole mess of things, including weapon tuning. You'll be able to read them all in the patch notes on Tuesday. Also, the community director, Matt, tweets out, something interesting will be happening on September 8th. Keep your eyes peeled during your patrol, Guardians. And all I can think is, we're going to find some new taken enemies and patrols wherever you go in Destiny. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more Destiny content. I will be an uploading machine in this next expansion of Destiny. Please comment below and tell me what you're most excited for in year 2. This has been Reapathy. Goodbye till next time.